I'm the first to admit, and then I was reminded by my agent when I first went to meet him, he said, this is too ambitious a book for a first-time writer. And I looked at him and I said, you're telling me. <laughs> when I sat down to write this book, I decided that every single chapter had to have a new idea. It's a really dense book because of that, and so people show up sometimes, and they have 8,000 post-its in there, and those are the people I take no questions from. They're sitting in the front row of the audience, and I go, you people in the front row that have all those post-its and have written in your books, no questions from you, because they know the book better than I do. Right? I mean, I moved on to the second book, and I'm working on a second book. Now, I have a lot of people that are being introduced to me, being introduced to the uh, book for the first time, and because of that, they're, they've got lots of questions. I think it's very rich in content, but it's easy to read. Right, so you, you got to give the first two chapters a little room because I'm trying to explain a brand new theory. But as soon as you get through with that second chapter, it's bam, 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 bam. People say they've read it in one night. So you can, it's a kind of science biology book that you're surprised by because you wind up taking it to the beach and then you wind up talking about it. So I'm glad I was able to write a significant book in a conversational style that people can read. You won't believe me, but I love you only I'd rather be lonely than happy with somebody else You might find the night time the right time for kissing